we are at eMarine testing isolators today. Um, there's many different versions available. We have your uh, multiple alternators, multiple battery banks, charging isolator. You've got your mid-size, and you've got your smaller standard version, which is your one alternator, two battery banks. So we'll take our multimeter and switch it over to the diode function, which is the arrow. We're going to take our positive lead from the alternator. We're going to connect that to our positive test probe from the multimeter. When we test the isolator, we're going from the alternator positive to the battery bank, uh, battery bank one, battery bank two. We want to make sure that electricity can flow from one point to the other. Now we get a value from the diode that's uh, within the isolator showing that electricity will flow in that direction. We reverse our leads. We should get an infinite reading. Indicating that electricity will not flow in that direction. We can test our other side of the, the other battery bank. Going from the positive of the alternator over here to the other battery bank two. You can see that same reading. Um, they might be slightly off, but that's not a problem as long as they're fairly close within a couple of tenths. And then we're going to reverse the leads again. get an infinite reading indicating that electricity will not flow in that direction. After that we want to check each post. Uh, we're going to go from the post to the chassis or the heat sink. And that should be infinite as well. We should not have an open circuit there. The last test we do is from each battery post and those should read infinite as well, indicating that there's uh, no connection between the two.